David, an important win uh, in round eight with Hosman. Tell us about the game. Yeah, it was a crazy game. I mean, right from the opening, he surprised me with a very offbeat line, a double Fianchetto, and uh, I was just kind of making it up on the spot. And we got to a very interesting position where I decided to sacrifice a pawn for some very tricky counterplay. Um, I thought I was close to mating him or winning a piece, but somehow he kept wriggling out and suddenly he was just strategically better. So um, I had to kind of suddenly go on the defensive and then a massive time scramble happened and I managed to kind of trick him and get all my pieces into play and then we've been mating that round his king and uh, kind of paid off in the end. So crazy game. I'm a bit relieved because at one point I didn't like my position, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy. Now in such a tournament situation where you've got the black pieces and a win really counts, I mean, that's more than you can hope for that somebody goes for an offbeat opening. So you must have been happy with that. Yeah, sure. I mean, I guess he had the white pieces. I mean, I'm a very beatable guy, you know, he, he probably wanted to press too. So um, I was, wasn't was expecting anything theoretical. He doesn't play that much. So um, uh, yeah, I can't complain. Uh, I would have taken, you know, a nice solid game, but uh, I was wanting to push when I had my chance and somehow it happened today. So. Right, now last night you were out doing a bit of blitz till quite late. Probably that helped. I was, I was in bed at 8pm, what are you talking about? <laughs> no, um, yeah, the blitz definitely helped. It's nice to just kind of hang out with friends and relax after a game and move some pieces. It kind of, uh, you feel less rusty if you're just kind of playing blitz for fun. So um, yeah, I've got to thank you and Stuart and the others for that. Yeah, definitely. Last two rounds remaining and it's a field wide open. How do you feel going into these two games about your chances? Yeah, I'm Cautiously optimistic. You never know. I mean, it, it could go, all go wrong tomorrow very quickly. But um, no, I'll try. Uh, I won't take any huge risks tomorrow. I'll, I mean, there's still two more rounds. So um, yeah, we'll see who I play. I'll try and push if I can, especially with white. And uh, yeah, fingers crossed. I don't know the other results today, but yeah, um, I'll catch them up, definitely. Right, so tell us a little bit about, uh, from the psychological point of view, you've got your, probably you're going to have your last white tomorrow. So is that when you really look at giving it that final push in the tournament? Um, I guess, yeah, objectively I should say that, but um, I don't know. I always seem to, I mean, 100% of the time I get black in the last round, so I'm kind of used to that situation. I mean, it's literally every tournament in the last three or four years, I always get black in the last round somehow. Even though here I was due to start, well, I started with black, I was due to have white in the last round and somehow colours messed up and... Um, I'm kind of used to that situation and it could go the other way, you know, they could overpress with white in the last round. So, I, I mean, if I'm in, in the running in the last round, I would take that. Yeah. So it's like just not taking too much risk, but just keeping your chances alive. Yeah, I mean, that's my style anyway. I don't want <laughs> to take too many risks, but um, yeah, I'll try and push. push. Right, we wish you all the best for the remaining games. Thank Good you. luck. Thanks, Tanya. Bye. Thanks.